Today we're going to talk about Brown Eyes Baby by Keith Urban. What you will learn today if you stay to the end of the video is the intro, the technical details in the intro, the verse and the chorus, and the strum patterns and chords for both. So stick around, let's have some fun. And here's the intro. And here's the verse. Okay, so how the intro is played is the same way the verse is played, and we're doing a little bit of a light palm mute, and we're starting with the G chord, which is finger three on the low E string on fret three, and then we're using down, up, down, up. We're basically going to use an alternate right hand picking pattern, which is down, up, based on a down, up, down, up, down, up pattern, again, like most of the coolest things on the guitar do. So we've got that nice down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. Right, so, so that's the G chord. Then we have the E minor seven chord, which is basically one finger on fret number two on the A string and then a low E, open D string, and then forward roll, down, up, down, up to the B string, and then upstroke on the G, and then C add nine. Right, then we actually remove that fourth finger to expose the open B string, which makes it a C major seven, right? So here's the intro, slowly. And at the end of the verse, there's a walk up, starting on A minor. C add nine before we blast into the chorus. And the chorus looks like this. We want to make sure that we present the bass note so that we can hear the transitions between the chords. Chords that belong in the chorus are these. We have a G5, which is a full, fully, uh, full Nashville G5. So we have the G and then choke the A string out with the second, second finger open, two middle strings, D and G strings, and then oh, we're using fingers three and four on the top two strings. So those are fret three, right? And don't forget we're on capo one, so I'm calling fret four capo three, or fret three now. So. Just, just an FYI, just to pay attention to. And then E minor seven is open, two open, open, basically the same thing as G5, but removing the, f removing the second finger and adding the first finger on fret number two on the A string, exposing the open low E string. The next chord is C add nine. C with choking out the low E string with the tip of the finger, the second finger. Finger two, one, open G, and then three and four again. These two fingers remain constant throughout, okay? Throughout the chorus. Then one more thing toward the end of the song where we're climbing back up into the verse, we use that A minor seven. Sus four, right? G with B in the bass. And then C add nine. And we hang out 
there, go back into the intro, 